We all have our daily struggles and difficulties, but these guys have it on a whole different level and I just wanted to be able to give something back. We're at the English Institute for Sport, where Invictus UK trials are taking place this week. This changes people's lives. It has an impact not simply on the competitor, but on their friends and family. And importantly, it's part of the healing process. People are here for different reasons, you know. I'm here because I'm blown up, I'm missing limbs, I'm also blind. There's other competitors that are mentally scarred. Wounds come in all different shapes and sizes. My husband was injured in Afghanistan in 2013. Joe hadn't left the house for about a year. He had turned around to me to say that he wanted to die. He was struggling every day. We were lucky enough to get an email from Help for Heroes about the Invictus Games Sports Fest where he could just go and try a load of different sports. It kept him alive. It's no exaggeration to say that I would have been a widow at 26 if it wasn't for what the Invictus Games did for Joe. As an organisation, we're heavily involved in supporting Ministry of Defence. Help for Heroes is also one of our charities that we support. We employ many ex-armed forces across the business, so it's great to be able to, to continue to give back. 15 strong of us today here. We'll be getting involved with scoring, arrow pulling, helping the archers. As an Army veteran my, myself, WRG supports me with having time away from work to be able to still conduct military training and also give back on volunteering days like this. Our experience has been that employing people coming out of the armed services gives us a highly motivated, highly trained workforce and it's just been a positive experience for us. I got injured in 2010. I lost both my legs and my right arm. One point you're able-bodied, next point you've just become disabled. So I struggled with what I wanted to do. I found out about these Invictus Games, so I went for the trials, and then I got selected for 2018 in Sydney. I think I'd just be sat on the set here, I'd be, I'd be drinking all the time, but that changed me. I don't drink anymore. I'm now a full-time athlete, so I'm going for Paralympics now. That road is just opening for me for whatever I want to do. This is an outlet and this is a community where they can all take part in sporting events and they're all of kind of like-minded individuals. Just because you have an injury, be it mental or, or physical, you still have a passion for sport and a competitive nature that wants to, to take part in, in these kind of events. It's a chance to focus their energy and get out of the house a bit more and then subsequently can be more engaged with their family and spend more time with their kids. That has a ripple effect. Being here experiencing this, listening to people's life stories, watching the action, it is incredibly emotional. I find myself moved and humbled and inspired. Invictus to me means courage, inspiration and teamwork. Inspirational, brave, amazing. It has saved the life of the person I love most in this world and if it can do that for one other person, because we know hundreds of people that it's done that for, but if it can do it for just one more person, then it's worth putting on again every single year for every single person that needs it.